So guys, I am back with another Need for Speed Unbound video and what you are seeing here guys is my own personal M3 GTR E46 BMW for the campaign mode in Need for Speed Unbound and well guys, to get this thing it's actually very very easy indeed you simply make it and you can get it to be absolutely perfect as you can see I have done right now and today I will explain all How's it going guys? My name's DPJ and if you do enjoy the video, leaving a like really helps out and if you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. Okay, so the also legendary most wanted BMW GTR M3 E46. Yes, we all know this is available if you play online multiplayer. It's also within the uh, campaign mode. Uh, via a, I believe it's a high heat delivery for Yaz. I haven't got to that stage yet. I've seen a video on it though. We get to actually, well, drop the car off or I don't know. I don't know. Just escort somebody around. But guys, you can actually get this in the game for yourself, for your own personal usage by simply buying it and just simply adding a body kit and a couple of decals. It is really that simple. Uh, I'll showcase you uh, in the photo mode. I've got it looking actually spot on. Shame the um, it's night, but that doesn't really matter. Can I turn this up? No, I can't. No, I can't. But it don't matter. I'll go into my garage. I go into the garage and show you exactly what we have here. Now, actually, um, I knew the car was in the game via the uh, Easter Egg mission or whatever it is. Oh, look how beautiful it is! It's such a beautiful car. But I actually needed a car for my own races, and I was just scrolling through, and I come across this. I thought, you know what? I'm just gonna buy it. I'm just gonna buy it and see if I can actually make the most wanted a GTR M3. And I did. Now, where is the car itself? It's somewhere here. Uh, there it is, right there. That is it, right there. The M3 E46 2006. Yes, I added the GTR to it. Uh, but hey, so it costs 70 grand. Not hard to get whatsoever. Um, like I said, I needed a car that was in the A category, and I bought it. I bought it, people! And I simply bought the body kit, which is in the game already, which is this one right here. I can't remember how much this cost. I think it could have been um, like 17k, maybe a little more. Um, but there's some badass ones as well. That's quite se sexy looking. But hey, if you want the, the, the classic, this is the option you have to go with. Um, and as you can see, I've tried to make it perfect as good as I can. Uh, the rims are slightly different on mine, as you can see, because I just prefer these rims over the actual legendary rims, which are in the game. You just can't make the sizes any bigger. Um, as you can see, I've even done the decals to the windows, you know, the racing windows. you got that little opening. Tried to add that as well. Uh, well hey, I think it's like even a little toe hook at the front. <laughs> I think it looks pretty spawn. I think it honestly looks pretty spot on. Now you can see here um, where we're going, where we're going. I didn't actually do none of this and add none of that. We're going to paint, edit wrap. Now the paint I use, if you're curious, it's that color right there, which I think is probably this one or that one. I'm not sure exactly because the images I was using on the internet. Um, Obviously, it depends on the color of your screen and the buttons of your screen. I know it's one of these colors anyway, but hey, it doesn't really matter. I'm happy with the one I got. And that's sort of wrap, guys. It's actually quite easy to do. Um, literally. I mean, there's not even that many layers I've used. And as soon as you've done a one side, you then just copy and move them all to the other side. Just move them all. You see there, that option there, move a decal. You can do that to the other side. And then all you got to worry about is just the front, the roof, and the back, that is it. There's nothing hard to do whatsoever. Now, I do believe I can share this somehow. I haven't quite figured that out yet. Um, I'm going to come out of this, discard that. Because my community is locked. Check out this one's created by other players. And I'm not sure why that is locked. Uh, do I have to get to a certain point in the story? I'm not even sure yet. But hey, yeah. Um, as soon as I can share this, I will. I am on Xbox, by the way. My gamer tag is... I am DPJ, which you can't see. Start by. Yeah, so yeah. Um, if you can search that in game, search that. 
and this will be there for you. Just buy the car, buy the body kit, apply those rims and a decal will be available for you to actually get. And it looks basically perfect to the one you get in a multiplayer game, the multiplayer, multiplayer version of this game. So yeah guys, I mean if you want this thing, you may as well get it people. Because it does look absolutely amazing. That's actually what I bought it for. I've been so busy doing collectibles, I haven't even done the first qualifier yet. I mean, that's what I bought this car for. Yes, so yes, guys. This is the legendary BMW M3 GTR E46. I think in Need for Speed, it may have been 2005. In this game, it's 2006. I could be wrong there. I haven't uh, modified this in any way in regards to its engine and performance yet. Because like I said, I needed it for the, uh, the A-Class category. And that's what we have. But it is a beast. It is a beast. So there we have it, guys. Guys, if you enjoyed the video, leaving a like really helps out. If you like what you see and want to see more, be sure to subscribe. And hopefully, guys, I will see you on that next one.